preview day again. Yay! Hey everybody, I am going to try the voiceover for this auction. Um, I'm moving pretty quickly because it's a pretty huge auction. This is a uh, RC airplane. This whole card is full of RC parts, magazines, bits. Uh, my husband knows way more about that than I do. But uh, it looks pretty cool. I am not sure. I mean, some of it's pretty sellable. Big old helicopter, cuckoo clock. That RC helicopter is ginormous. Toolbox. Um, this box over here is full of Texas stuff. I'm going to pause for a second. Uh, I actually have this dictionary. He says, howdy, y'all. And he uh, acts out different slang and phrases. And then there's a $100 bill from the Republic of Texas when Texas used to be its own country. Now, whether it's real or not, I have no idea. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. You never know. And then this is a box full of jewelry boxes, trinket boxes, and baggies. Um, so that that's a maybe on the bidding. Those sell okay. And then this telescope is really awesome. I'm pretty sure it's going to go for a lot. And then here's a box full of brass um, pit pieces, unicorn, a horse towel hanger. These are all um, sheet music and uh, music for songs and things like that. Down here you'll see a big box, well not a big box, but a box full of um, camera stuff, old camera stuff. There's more later. Uh, these are, looks like grab bags of jewelry, costume jewelry mostly. Sometimes they have really nice jewelry, sometimes it's just costume stuff. More uh, cameras, this clock is kind of cool. Um, I'm going so fast because the the auction house was so huge, packed full of stuff. So there, there was a lot that I had to cut out. Um, I couldn't show you everything because it was just too much. Some binoculars, some fossils in there. Uh, those Indian head uh, bookends, yeah, I don't need a curl and iron. Uh, we're, those are really cool right there. And then uh, here comes this makeup stuff. These two things I think I'm going to go on. This is so awesome. It goes around the neck and it opens up and it looks like the lady would uh, put her makeup in there. Hang on, it's going to open in a second. There we go. Got it open. And you can see the little sponges and the mirror and the place where she would put her makeup. It was so cute. Really cool. And then this other little piece has got um, rouge in it. And uh, so those are really neat. I know some people sell perfume, but I really don't know anything about it. Um, so I couldn't. This big camera, more camera stuff. That looks like the Marathon Pegasus. More books. What else was down here? Costume jewelry, pens, geodes, and then there's some old toys down there. I wish I could have shown you everything. I mean, I recorded everything, but it was just, it was massive how much was in this, this auction this time. So here we've got some more costume jewelry, <clears throat> and then this artwork, which is kind of pretty. I don't know about the, yeah, that's maybe not my style, but it was interesting, you know, got to get a shot of the artist in case somebody knows who that is. Maybe it's something I should know about. This sale had a lot of furniture, and this piece is super cool. It, it kind of looks like a, like a cobbler's bench, but not exactly, so I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is, really. Uh, see some bicycles, some wooden shoes, just in case you need wooden shoes. More old toys and games. Those dinosaurs are kind of funky fun. Let's see what else we've got. Clocks. There was a lot of porcelain in this one too. Lots of uh, dishes. That fan screen's pretty cool. Look at this coal. I think this is a coal scuttle when they would clean out the fireplace, maybe. Or, you know what I mean? They would sweep it all in there to clean it out. So that's pretty neat. What else have we got? Some of the dishes were pretty cool, but I don't know a whole lot about them. I think those balls in the those glass things had something to do with nautical something. I don't know. More toys and books, things I don't know so much about. That that was pretty cool. That tray. 
Here's some artwork. This green pottery is really pretty as well, but like I said, I don't know anything about it. I'll have to look it up when they post everything, all the details. Some shells and blue glass. There's some pretty cool collections coming up. I mean, the auction house just has everything, as you can see. Collectibles and just household stuff. Just It's like they gutted somebody's house and got it all and uh, brought it in. You know, looks like more than one person's house, though. Some silverware, stamps, the scale. My son was, was like, this is super cool, Mom. It was pretty big uh, scale, too. Is that ship? There's the silverware. Let me see. What else do we have? More of this green pottery. More brass figures. I try to cut out a lot more of the just normal household stuff and show you a little bit more of the collectible things. What have we over here? Just householdy stuff. Random, random little glass or porcelain figures down there. Let's see. Fans, in case I need fans. More porcelain. I've got porcelain coming out of my ears, though, so I don't really... Unless I find something that's just amazing that I can't pass up. Looks like some lace down there, some crochet stuff. Traveling trunks, more brass um, candlesticks. Yeah, this just looks a little grill. If I need a little grill, but I don't. <laughs> and this, I don't know, is that a ringer? What is that thing? George Washington. Can never go wrong with George. Good old George. <clears throat> yeah. Tools, tools. There's lots and lots and lots of tools, toolboxes. Probably could have cut this part out because you don't need to see a lot of tools, but I left it in. There's a little mug there. That was kind of cool looking. Leather jacket, wetsuit. In case I need a wetsuit. I know they can sell though. But I don't know. Do you, I guess they buy used wetsuits. It's like a wedding dress, lots of knitting needles, but I probably won't bid on those. <laughs> Expose yourself to art people. Don't worry about getting arrested, but you didn't hear that from me. Oh, this chess set I really liked. Uh, it's like a, it's got the grids on it and the pieces are glass. So if you wanted to learn the actual spots, names or whatever, I don't know, you could. Beanie Babies, it's what everyone's looking for. <laughs> Knives. Oh, this has Clorox on it. I thought that was pretty cool, this glass jar. Clorox. And then, let me see, what do we have? More porcelain, more tools, oh my gosh. Tools, tools, tools. More artwork. It's kind of pretty though. And more of the green porcelain stuff, pottery, whatever it is. I'm sure somebody out there knows. Looks like pressed glass. Some antlers. I know people do well with antlers as well. And then there's some uh, cast iron pots there. Look at the lures. Isn't that cool? Somebody really took time to put that together. These dolls, I don't know, people must buy them, but I just, I don't see it. Some arrowheads, big old piece of wood, and what have we down here? Just stuff, random household cleaning stuff. Oh man, thanks for hanging in there. This is a long one, you guys. Look at these knitting needles, they're ginormous. I try to, p I pick them up in just a second so you can see, like, how huge it is. They're giant. I'm like, what are you going to knit with that? Oh my gosh. You're going to knit a big old sweater for a giant or a tree or a shoot, I don't know. I was looking at the bottom to see if it had the size on it, and I didn't. But uh, I guess somebody's going to use that big old knit needle. I mean, what kind of yarn do you use with that? I mean, that would leave giant holes in it. There's plates, more plates. I don't need more camera stuff. Pretty cool. Lots of cameras in this uh, auction this time. There's another one, Argus. See, I just have to do my homework on all of that. I'm 
going to get better at doing these uh, ride-alongs, and you're going to enjoy them more in the future, I can tell you. I can only get better, right? Pictures! Lots of pictures down there. <laughs> this one, I mean, he must have had a nice, or she, a nice collection of pictures. I suppose, I mean, people collect everything. Seriously, you guys. They, I mean, there is a collector out there grabbing onto everything. Now, these are some nice teacups. And uh, like I said, I have so much porcelain already that I really don't think I'm going to go for the porcelain teacups. Um, I don't know. Glass, more glass. These pictures were kind of funky, vintage. I, I still, I'm so shaky about um, shipping, you know, framed pictures. I guess I just need to jump out of my comfort zone. There's a Keurig. I wonder if it works. I don't have one. Drills. Look at that porcelain. There's something really awesome coming up though, you guys, that you'll either love it or you'll hate it. One or the other. Or maybe you'll love it and you'll hate it. Some shoes. Anybody? Merrill's? Those sell. Those are pretty fancy shoes. Christmas stuff. I just picked up a couple of those electronic ohm testers. Yep, storage. Can never go wrong with storage. And then here, here she is. Shh. Let the baby sleep. Just let her sleep. You know what they say. Don't wake a sleeping baby. Okay. Oh, wait, baby. I will. There she comes. No. Okay, put her to sleep. Back to bed. Back to bed. It's okay. It's okay. And let's walk away. It's all good. We're walking away. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But we have to come back one more time. Let's see those eyes. Are they baby blues? Wait for it. Wait for it. And she sees you. Okay. Now we're back to sleep. <laughs> Freaky. Woo. That was fun. <laughs> uh, okay. Shoe molds and little tiles. Let's see what else have we got. Nicky neck things. I don't even know. More dishes. This frame was super cool. It's one of those domed out kind of um, picture frames. And this rock collection. Check it out. That's so neat. I mean, somebody really took some time to, to put that together. I don't know. That's pretty cool. It's probably going to go for way too much. So I probably won't be bidding on it. Purses. This one, I mean, I'm telling you guys, this auction, this one's going to be way bigger than the last one. Which is good and bad. I mean, because then some people maybe won't bid on as much stuff. So you might be able to get things for a better deal. That's my thinking. Um, but then the really cool stuff is probably going to go for through the roof. We'll see. Here's a golfer dude. And lots more uh, household items. Ed Hardy coasters. Does Ed Hardy still sell? I don't know. I don't think so. Um... Frames. I don't really sell frames very much unless I find something super, super cool. More household stuff. Empty box. What would you do with that box? I don't know. More just randomness. Some halloween -y stuff. Some artwork. I kind of liked those. But like I said, I've never actually shipped any artwork, so I'm not sure. Tools. I mean, this place. Look at that bed. That's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of, lots of tools in this one. Lots of tools, lots of furniture. I was hoping that gnome was on the clock, like a wooden clock all carved, like little wooden gnomes on it. That I would buy. That would be super duper awesome. But it was not. More tools. This is like tool heaven. I would love, love to learn more about fishing lures. Because I know there can be money in fishing lures. But I just don't know a thing about them. My son wants to go fishing more. Oh, D&D. &D. There we go. That brings back the memories. My brother, my older brother was really into the old D&D. &D. Dungeons and Dragons. Let's see, what have we here? Let me see. More kitchen stuff. Some of it looks kind of vintage, though. That's pretty cool. 
This is a whole bunch of Stargate DVDs. I, I've never watched Stargate. Maybe they're a really good show. I don't know. And then those brown books were like cowboy and Indian type books. And th these, I liked those a lot. Um, the Swizzle Sticks. Because vintage Swizzle Sticks sell. And then these glass ones I think would sell pretty well too. So that might be a, a maybe on the on the auction. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. I really appreciate you coming along and seeing the auction preview for uh, with me. Let me know what you would bid on or what you thought was super awesome. And give me any pointers on how I can make my ride-alongs better because I would love to make them better. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Go out and enjoy yourselves.